What's going on guys? This is Volgris here and welcome to Tip Tuesday number two. Today on Tip Tuesday we're going to be working in Adobe After Effects and I'm going to teach you guys some really neat features to Adobe After Effects that you may or may not have known. If you learned something new or if you just want to help me out, I would appreciate if you guys leave a like. That would really help me out. Now let's get started to this week's Tip Tuesday. So over here we have the song Oxygen. I'm just going to drag it into my stage uh, like you see here. And uh, now we have our song, let me just uh, drag my five-man intervention kill feed to uh, the stage as well. And uh, these clips are by uh, Refill. I will put a link to them in the description. Okay, so the tricks are how to create a marker in Adobe After Effects and how to split a clip in Adobe After Effects. It's that simple, but I can guarantee these will help you out greatly, especially when it comes to syncing. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there might have problems with syncing in Adobe After Effects, and it's really simple. I'll just give you guys a little bit of a background. If you click on the down arrow right here, click on the down arrow on audio, and uh, down arrow on waveform, you have the waveform right here. Now, of course, if you uh, see the waveform, this is essentially the same thing as you see in Sony Vegas. So the only difference is that most people you know, think, well, if I hit the play button, I don't hear any music. Well, that's because you have to RAM preview, which is essentially rendering it. And um, I'm not sure if this is a default or if this is what I made it, but if you um, mess around with, I think it is composition uh, preview, RAM preview. By default, it's zero on your numpad. So if you just hit zero on your numpad, it will actually render uh, your render region, which is right here. It'll render everything that's inside of that, and it'll play the music as well. Uh, also, if you like to sync to a spot, if you hold in control and uh, you drag, just to show you guys, it works. You will actually be able to preview your song. So um, you'll be able to scrub the track, and you'll be able to find the specific part of your song to sync to. Now, uh, especially when you're using Twixter, when you have a lot of tracks, I mean, I've had times where I've had, you know, 20, if not more, tracks in Adobe After Effects. I mean, usually I have pre-composed layers when I get that many, but at one particular time, I've had this whole entire thing filled up with just tracks. So it can be kind of hard to, you know, keep scrolling up and down and try to see the waveform and to line it up and sync correctly. So what I usually do is I create a marker. So first thing you want to do is you want to find the exact part you want to put a marker. Okay, so I'm going to put one right here. And then you want to drag this little thing right here, it looks like a marker, and just drag this out. Okay, now that says number one, that's your first marker. Say you want to sync to this point right here. Okay, same deal. You can just drag this, and that's your second marker. And of course, these will be visible throughout the whole entire composition, so keep that in mind, they're really helpful. And uh, say you want to split a clip, which is another really helpful tip. At any point in uh, editing, all you have to do is select the clip, select the part of the clip you want to split, Hold in Control, Shift, and D. And now you have two clips. As you guys see right here, you have one and you have two. Now, uh, say for example, you would like to uh, stop the clip here and you want to start it again here. What you can do is, same deal, hold in Control, Shift, D. Delete the middle clip. And then you can drag this here now, as you guys can see. You have successfully split your clips in Adobe After Effects. It's not quite as simple as it is in Sony Vegas. It's not quite as easy as it is in Sony Vegas. Uh, in Sony Vegas, you can just hit S and it'll split the clip and M will create a marker. But it's still there. It's a feature that's there and it is really helpful, especially when you're syncing. I cannot stress that enough. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's Tip Tuesday. I hope you guys learned something new and that this will really help you guys out. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for next week's Tip Tuesday.